Hi, I'm Chris Ketke, and we are going to talk about the different types of barbecue sauce in the United States and how you can use them on pieces of meat and poultry. In the U.S., barbecue sauces can pretty much be divided into three categories, those that are based on ketchup, those that are based on mustard, and those that are vinegar based. Now, the beauty of the U.S. is that as you travel around going from city to city and town to town, you'll notice that there's all kinds of originality when it comes to barbecue sauce. And so what I'm going to do is prepare a ketchup-based barbecue sauce and show you the different components. But this is kind of original because what it is, is it's a Guinness barbecue sauce. It's based on a lot of Guinness. But first, we're going to start cooking onions. I'm going to take some olive oil, put it into the pan that's been heating up on the side burner. We're just going to use the center burner for this because I don't want this to be super hot. And into this, I'm going to put in some onions. These are finely chopped up onions. And I'm going to cook these until they're nice and golden brown and soft. Our onions are just about cooked. I can hear them over there. And then what I've done is I've chopped up two cloves of garlic nice and fine. I'm going to go ahead and put them with the onions. And what I'm going to do is cook those, cook the garlic just for like 30 seconds or so to sort of cook out the rawness of the garlic. And because I've minced the garlic so finely, it's going to cook really, really fast. Now, you know, we were talking about the different kinds of barbecue sauce. And there are also different ones in terms of some that are not cooked and others that are cooked. And obviously, this is one where the ingredients are all cooked together. The garlic is done. In goes three bottles of Guinness. Like I said, it's going to take a lot of Guinness. And what we're going to do is bring this up to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, we're just going to keep boiling that on high heat. So this is the time to flip on the second burner and get that going nice and hot. And we're going to reduce that until there's about this much left in the pot. Now the Guinness has completely reduced and you can see how, how fast that reduced with these double burners on the Sabre grill. They are so powerful. You really got to keep an eye on that because it does reduce quickly. Now what we've incorporated so far, we have onion, we have garlic, which gives us a little bit of a, a sweet and pungent flavor profile. Then I have the Guinness that gives us the bitterness. Now in goes the rest of it. We're going to put in a whole bunch of ketchup because ketchup, again, this is a ketchup based barbecue sauce. So the ketchup is going to go in and that'll give us some sweetness. And I'm going to put in some more sweetness, some brown sugar. The brown sugar is essential because what that's doing is that's balancing the bitterness of the Guinness. Again, what makes a great barbecue sauce is creating this balance between all the different flavors. Now, in addition to that, a lot of barbecue sauces, including this one, have lots of little ingredients which gives it the complexity. For instance, I have over here some salt, I have some cumin black pepper, some dried mustard powder, and that's just going to go sliding in to the dish, into the barbecue sauce, along with some soy sauce. It's going to give us a little bit more depth of flavor. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And this is, you know, this, this recipe is not exactly you know, magical. I mean, a lot of people have different barbecue sauces that they like. Now, the one ingredient we don't have yet is heat in terms of spiciness. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some hot sauce here. And you know, you can put in as much as you want, depending on how spicy you want that to be. Now, all the ingredients are together. And you can see, take a look at how thick that's become already. What we want to do is reduce the heat now. And then what we need to do is we need to simmer this for about 10 or 15 minutes to bring all the flavors together. And that'll help to bring out the complexity of the barbecue sauce. Now when it's done, it's going to be nice and thick and delicious. And basically you just brush it on a piece of meat or maybe a piece of meat right before it comes off the grill. Or if you want, go ahead and serve it on the side. Now for this and other barbecue tips, go to betterbarbecueblog.com.